Predrag's parents know his murderer will never be brought to justice. Their son was an ethnic Serb and killed during the siege of Sarajevo in 1993. He was trying to defend the city against the Bosnian Serb forces surrounding it. But he wasn't killed by them. Instead, he was killed by a regular brigade commander, supposedly on the same side. The authorities intend to hide what happened, but thank God the truth is out. Many people contacted me, people who knew he was taken to Katsani and killed there. The mass grave at Katsani is located at the top of the city. Predrag and other Serbs were killed by a group of 30 rogue soldiers, headed up by Mushin Sadso Toplovic. And now, for the first time, a political leader of Bosnian Muslims has paid homage to the victims. It was a personal gesture, a feeling of debt that I had been carrying for a while. I hope that it will inspire others to do the same. More than 10,000 people were killed in bombings while the city was under siege. But tens or even hundreds of Serbs were also victims of rogue defence soldiers. This former general, a Serb in the Bosnian army, repeatedly warned authorities about what was happening. It was known what was going on in Sarajevo in 1992 and 1993. But even after we stopped following Sadso's orders, things carried on. Crimes against Sarajevo Serbs are widely known about, but no monument for the victims was ever put up. A plaque recently mounted in a park by local residents was vandalised after two days. Why is it so hard to admit? Because it contradicts the image we usually have of Sarajevo, by which I mean Sarajevo, the victim of violence, a multicultural place. Mushan Sadso Toplovic was arrested by authorities in 1993 and killed in unclear circumstances. His grave, however, stands at the front of a cemetery dedicated to those who defended the city, and his name is inscribed on a monument there. Despite the blood on his hands, in the minds of most people, he still remains a hero.